we're going to solve this inequality. So remember, to solve an inequality, you use the same properties you do for solving an equation, unless you multiply or divide by a negative number. And in that case, the inequality switches directions. All right, so we're just going to start out by adding and subtracting something to both sides, so we won't be multiplying or dividing by anything in that case. So I'm going to put the variables on one side. You could decide to keep the variables on the right, 20x, or on the left, where there's a 15x. Let's say I put it over on the left. So I'm going to subtract 20x from both sides. So now all the variables will be on the left side. Now if the variables are going to be on the left side, we don't want this minus 11. So let's add 11 to both sides. And that way, you see what's going on? You're going to have the variables on the left and the constants on the right. So what does that give us? 15x minus 20x is negative 5x. It's greater than or equal to. And over here we have negative 19 plus 11. So you're adding a negative and a positive. It's going to be negative 8. Okay. Now we need to divide by the coefficient of x. But beware, I'm dividing by a negative. So this is no longer true. If you divide by a negative, it's not greater than or equal. It'll now be less than or equal. If I divide it by positive 5, then it wouldn't switch. So this is x less than or equal to, and negative 8 divided by negative 5 is 8 fifths. Let's do this problem another way. Let's put the variables on the right-hand side. So how about if I subtracted 15x from both sides? So the variable's on the right side. So I don't want to have this minus 19. I'll add 19 to both sides. And negative 11 plus 19, oh, that's a positive 8. So I have 8 is greater than or equal to 5x. Now, when you see 8 is greater than or equal to 5x, if you read it from right to left, that's like saying 5x is less than or equal to 8. It's like saying if Harry is bigger than, you know, Sam, then Sam is smaller than Harry, etc. So this is the same thing as 5x is less than or equal to 8. So if we do that now, notice I do have the variable on the left again, but I don't have any negative number in front of x. So when I divide by 5, I do not switch the inequality symbol. So I have x less than or equal to 8 fifths. I get the same answer. Now how would we write this in interval notation? So what would this look like on a graph? It's saying the solutions, x, they are smaller than 8 fifths. So wherever 8 fifths is, let's just say 8 fifths is right here, and let's say 0 is here. I know it's going to the left, and it's actually less than or equal. So if we put this open bracket, it's saying it's going to the left, all the numbers smaller than 8 fifths and including 8 fifths. In interval notation, it's going to the left forever, and to show that, we do a parentheses with a negative infinity and it's going all the way up to 8 fifths. And if it was less than 8 fifths, we'd put a parentheses, but if it's actually equal to it, we use the bracket. Another way you may have seen this graph not doing interval notation is you would put eight, 0 and 8 fifths again. But instead of using the bracket, I like the bracket because it goes along with interval notation, is you might see a dot on it instead. So that's another way of graphing it, but that's not considered interval notation.